Okay, uh, we continue uh, for the exercise. Eh? Uh, for the exercise, we see the hypothesis and the conclusion. Uh, we define first uh, if it rains today as a P, uh, then we will not have a barbecue today. Eh? It, uh, we will not have a barbecue today is a negative Q. Uh, if you do have, uh, if we do not have a barbecue today, uh, then we will have a barbecue tomorrow. Eh? Uh, three, uh. This one is a proportional variable that we extract from the sentence. Uh. Okay, and then uh, therefore, therefore, uh, if uh, it is rain today, P, then uh, we will have a barbecue tomorrow implies uh, uh, this one from the uh, hypothesis uh, to the conclusion. Okay, this one is hypothesis. And this one is a conclusion. Uh, for the exercise, uh, we have a uh, step by step. Okay, for the H one, H two, and then we, we have the hypothetical uh, syllogism one and two. Lah. Okay, this one uh, implies. Eh? Okay. Okay, as a conclusion. Uh, P implies R. Okay, step one is we have a hypothesis one, a hypothesis two, and then we have a hypothetical a syllogism. Okay, that's, that, that is the first uh, exercise. Okay, and secondly, uh, we have a validity of the uh, argument. Uh, we must uh, have uh, some of the re requirements uh, to see if the argument is valid. Uh, for the first one, uh, whenever all the hypotheses uh, are true and the conclusion uh, also be true. Uh, to prove the argument is valid, uh, we... Uh, assume two, two things. Uh, the first one, the hypothesis or premises must be true. Okay, And then uh, we use the role of inferences and logical equivalences to determine the, that the conclusion is uh, true. Uh. Okay. okay. Here we have nine. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10 and we have 10, sorry. We have 10 uh, important equivalences. If so, uh, I not uh, describe uh, because you have learned eh, in uh, chapter 1.2 uh, identity, what is the uh, domination, what is uh, the important, and then what is double negation. 1, 2, 3, 4. Please refer back to my uh, YouTube or uh, slide. Eh? Commutative, associative, uh, distributive, uh, Morgan law. Okay, we have 10. Eh? Uh, and then we have absorption. And lastly, is negation. Eh? 9, 10. Okay, uh, example. Eh? Example here. Consider the following uh, logical ar argument. Okay, we have uh, if the horses uh, fly or cows uh, eat uh, artichoke. What is uh, artichoke? Eh? Atichok ni apa dia? Sayur eh? Sayur apa eh? Atichok ni? Atichok ni tahu ke? Kalau dalam Melayu eh, dia kata apa eh? Atichok eh? Atichok ni macam mana nak kata eh? Dia sayur, sayur yang Macam ni? Artichok ni guna untuk apa eh? Siapa tahu? Biasa orang buat ulam eh artichok ni. Yalah untuk memanglah untuk makan. Apa dia artichok ni? Okay, dia ulam lah. Biasa artichok ni ulam lah. 
Okay, and then uh, we have a. Uh, uh, then the mosquito is the national bird number two. Okay, it is hypothesis, and then if the mosquito are, uh, is a national bird, then the peanut butter tastes good uh, on hot dogs. Huh? But uh, peanut butter tastes horrible on the hot dog. Uh, therefore, a cow uh, doesn't eat uh, artichokes. Huh? It's the conclusion eh, uh, for the negation. Eh? And then uh, this one is uh, conclusion. Okay, we have conclusion here. Okay, conclusion here. And then uh, we have uh, here is the hypothesis. Huh? Assign proportional variable to each component of the argument. Okay, we, we need to assign. Okay, uh, first uh, we assign a P horses uh, fly, Q as a cows eat artichokes, and then R, the mosquito is a national bird, and then S, uh, peanut butter tastes good on a hot dogs. So. Okay, we have uh, represent the argument using the variable. Eh? We have H1, H2, and H3. Eh? And then therefore, Therefore, as a conclusion, if uh, we negate uh, Q, nah? negate Q is uh, therefore cows uh, doesn't eat uh, artichoke nah, for the conclusion. Okay, this one is you you just uh, represent eh? uh, using the component or assignment to the uh, logical argument, eh? and then uh, we have a uh, step. Okay, we have a P or Q uh, implies R as H1, R implies S as H2, and then we do the hypothetical syllogism on 1 uh, and 2. Okay, and then we have H3, and then we have a modest uh, tolerance on 3 and 4. Okay, on 3 and 4, we, we use the modest uh, tolerance. And then we have uh, D Morgan's law, and then uh, lastly is uh, simplification. Eh? Okay. Okay, for the uh, modest uh, tolerance, eh? we have a uh, P, and then uh, P uh, and Q, eh? and then we have a uh, negative Q, therefore we have a uh, P, eh? uh, negative P. Okay, this one is a uh, step. Uh, we have uh, H2, H3, and then we have modest solid on 1 and 2, and then uh, we have uh, H1, okay, H1, and then a uh, modest solid on uh, 3 and 4, and then a uh, De Morgan law and simplification. Okay, this one is uh, accession. We have accession, hypothesis 1, hypothesis 2, hypothetical uh, syllogism on 1 and 2. And then we have hypothesis for the stolen and the Morgan commutative. And then uh, simplification, eh? we got our conclusion. Uh, the, the cows uh, doesn't eat uh, artichokes. Eh? Okay, this one is uh, another example. Uh, the hypothesis only if uh, have the conclusion eh? that R implies a P. Eh? Okay, show that the following argument is valid. Uh, it is not a sunny day uh, this afternoon and it is uh, colder than yesterday. Uh, we will go swimming, number three, only if uh, it is sunny P. If you don't have, uh, we, if you don't go to the swimming R, naked R, and we will take a canoe trip. Eh? If we take a canoe trip, then we will be home by a sunset. Therefore, uh, as a conclusion, we will uh, be home uh, by the sunset. Basically, when you see the therefore, it will uh, comply or we, it will uh, determine as a conclusion. And then uh, P, it is sunny day this afternoon. Q, it is uh, all colder than yesterday. And then we have, uh, we will go for swimming, we will go for canoe trip, and we will go, uh, we'll be home by sunset. Eh? We have one, two, three, four, five. Eh? Five exception. Eh? Uh, okay, and then we have H1, hypothesis 1, hypothesis 2, hypothesis 3, and 4 eh? from the uh, logical argument. Eh? 
Okay, and then uh, we go, uh, okay, uh, step by step. Eh? Okay, negative 3 and 2 for the abstraction. Eh? We have uh, step 1, and then we have uh, step 2, uh, H2, and then we sim simplify, simplification on 1. Okay, we have a uh, negative AP, and then we have a uh, modest toilet on 2 and 3. Uh, and then H3, modus ponent on 4 and 5, and then uh, H4, and then modus ponent on 6 and 7. Lah. Okay. And then, uh, therefore, we got a Q. Lah. Okay. This one is uh, the assertion. Eh? The assertion, uh, the step-by-step -step is based on the the operation. Eh? Operation. Followed by the operation. Okay, this one is... Uh, Again, uh, we have a uh, syllogism on 3 and 4. Okay, and then we have a uh, hypothetical uh, syllogism on 6 and 8. Eh? And then after that, uh, modus ponent on 6 and 8. Okay, this one is same. Eh? Uh, R implies Q is uh, same as uh, negate P implies uh, negate R. Eh? This one is uh, implication uh, equivalences. If you negate P, implies T, and then you have uh, negate P, and then <coughs> therefore you have T. Okay, uh, rule of uh, inference for quantified statement. Eh? Uh, we have a uh, universal instantiation, universal generalization, existential instantiation. <coughs> and then as uh, existential generalization eh? okay uh, okay for example negate p negate uh, for all x px then uh, for any c therefore pc is true eh? this, this one is a uh, universal uh, quantification uh, instantiation and then uh, we select any element of c pc is true therefore for all x px eh? this one is a uh, Generalization. Okay, uh, and then uh, for sub x, p x, therefore for at least one specific c, uh, whereby a p c is uh, true. This one is uh, existential uh, instantiation. And then we say a particular, particular uh, element uh, of c. Therefore, <coughs> for sum x uh, is p x. Okay, uh, and then uh, this this one we have uh, two hypotheses. Everyone in a discrete map has uh, taken a, a computer science course. <coughs> Marla is a student in a discrete classes, <coughs> uh, and then uh, therefore Marla has taken a computer science course. As a conclusion, we have a hypothesis and conclusion. <coughs> okay, and then we have a H one. Uh, premises or hypothesis one and two eh? we have uh, for all x the dx in fact x and then we have uh, h2 and then as a conclusion therefore uh c uh, marla marla has taken a computer science course eh? <coughs> okay for the premises eh? <coughs> we have a uh, premise and then uh, we have a uh, universal instantiation using one premise, and then we have more respondent using two and three. Lah. <coughs> okay, this one is more respondent. Uh, okay. Uh, C, uh, H1. Okay. For all DX implies uh, CX, H1, and then uh, D, uh, Marla, H2. And then D Marla uh, for the variable equal to C Marla is an instantiation. And then uh, C Marla is a modest ponder on 2 and 3. Lah. <coughs> uh, for the exercise, a student in the class has not read the book. Everyone in the class has passed the exam. Lah. Therefore, someone who passed the exam has not read the books. Lah. Then uh, we have a uh, fallacies, fallacies uh, in a uh, tautology. Eh? <coughs> for, uh, 
Fallacies uh, resemble uh, rules of inferences but are based on the contingency rather than the tautologies uh, because uh, there are incorrect inferences. Uh, when we refer back for the tautology, all the uh, truth value are true. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and then for the fallacies, uh, involve uh, three uh, common fallacies. Uh, that uh, first one is affirming the consequences. Okay. Uh, secondly, is denying the hypothesis, and uh, thirdly, is circular reasoning. Uh, later, we discuss this one. Okay, so far, do you have any question? Ada soalan ke? Ah, tak ada. Okay, uh, basically when you talk about fallacy is the incorrect uh, inferences uh, or result eh, arrived by apparent, uh, apparently correct. Eh. Okay, uh, for example, uh, we, uh, we see the example in uh, fallacies. Uh, fallacies is used uh, for of invalid, okay, invalid or otherwise faulty uh, reasoning. Eh, faulty reasoning. Or wrong move in the construction of uh, argument. Okay, you, you, you misplace the argument. A fallacy argument may be de deceptive by appearing to be better than uh, it really is. Okay, uh, fallacy of affirming the consequences. Okay, uh, this one, the P implies Q. Uh, we have a Q. Okay, and then therefore P. Lah. Okay, and then uh, P is not a tautology eh? and therefore not a rule of inferences. If you do every problem in this in this uh, book or exercise, okay, uh, okay, compare the model exponent and model stolen. Eh? This one you need to compare the model stolen and model exponent. Okay, this one is a. Uh, it will generate the fallacies. Eh? Okay, uh, for example, uh, fallacy of denying of uh, hypothesis. Okay, uh, this one is not tautology and therefore not a rule of inferences. Uh. Okay, this one is negate, uh, therefore P, and then this one is therefore uh, negate uh, Q. Uh. Uh, okay, this one is uh, fallacy of denying. This one is uh, model stolen. You, you deny. Uh, fallacy of uh, uh, denying is uh, modest stolen. Uh, fallacy of affirming the consequences is modest spawning. Eh? This one modest spawning. You deny by using uh, negation. Eh? Okay, and then uh, we have a circular uh, reasoning. Circular reasoning, uh, one or more step uh, to prove. Eh? To prove uh, are based upon the truth uh, of the statement being proved. Eh? Okay, uh, also known as uh, begging the question. Eh? Okay, uh, when uh, two statements depend on each other in order to be true, uh, in uh, consistent with the model. Okay, uh, what is a uh, circular reasoning? Eh? Example, uh, everyone uh, loves Rebecca because she is so popular. Eh? Okay, uh, another example is uh, you must obey the law because it is illegal to break the law. Uh, you uh, begging the question. Eh? Uh, for, uh, another example is America is the best place to live because it's rather than any other country. Lah. 
Okay, uh, it like this. Eh? We have A and B. If if A, then B. If B, then A. Okay, you have a uh, circular reasoning. Eh? Uh, one or more step of the proof based on the truth of the statement being proof. Eh? You have if A, then B. Then you have if B, then A. Eh? Uh, another example is uh, everyone loves Rebecca because she is popular. Uh, <coughs> she is popular because uh, because of that uh, everyone loves Rebecca. Lah. Okay, then we have a method of proof. We have nine, two, four, six, seven. Proper one, two, two, three. Okay, we have seven. Eh? We have a uh, direct proof. We have indirect proof. We have vacuous uh, proof. We have trivial proof. Proof of contradiction. Proof by case and existing proof. Eh? Okay, uh, proof basic. Uh, if you want to to uh, establish the truth values of P implies Q, the P may be conjunction. Eh? Conjunction of uh, other hypothesis uh, and p implies q is conjunction until a proof is produced uh, conjunction is uh, like this n p true and true uh, true true and false 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 and true uh, true false and false is true uh. okay we have a direct proof okay direct proof uh, is a uh, assume the hypothesis are uh, true uh. Okay, uh, hypothesis are true. And then you use the rule of inferences uh, and any logical equivalences to establish the truth of the conclusion. Uh, let's say if P is true, then Q has to be true for the P implies Q to be true. Example uh, that we uh, did earlier, eh, the proof we did uh, about the cows uh, not eating artichokes was an example of direct proof. Eh? Direct proof. Eh? Okay, direct proof is a way uh, of uh, showing a truth or uh, falsehood of a given statement by straightforward and eh? straightforward uh, combination of logic. Okay, uh, cows uh, didn't uh, do not eat uh, artichokes. Eh? Okay, uh, another example is a uh, human uh, did not eat the stones. Okay, this one is the straightforward combination of uh, established facts uh, that usually we use the axiom uh, and then we use the existing lemma and also the theorem eh, uh, without making any uh, assumption or conclusion. Eh. Okay, example, uh, direct proof of theorem. Eh? If you use, if n is uh, odd integer and uh, n power of 2 is uh, odd integer. Eh? Okay, uh, use the following definition. Uh, if n is even, then uh, exists an integer k such that n uh, equal to 2k and it is odd if there exists an the integer k such that n uh, equal to 2k plus 1. Okay, uh, to add, uh, assume the hypothesis is odd, true, and is odd, then uh, for some k, n equal to 2k plus 1. Now we uh, conclude, eh, n uh, power of 2 is odd. Lah. Okay, we do some of the calculation here. Okay, 4k, power of 2 plus 4k plus 1 is equivalent to uh, 2, 2k power of 2 plus 2k plus 1 and then we replace 2m plus 1 yeah. okay since uh, n power of 2 2m plus 1 then n uh, power of 2 is odd is true eh? and proof is complete eh?
Okay. Okay, and then we have uh, indirect proof or contrapositive. Uh, remember, P implies U is equivalent to negate P uh, implies negate, uh, negate Q implies negate P. Eh? Uh, contrapositive, you uh, you add on the, the negation. Eh? Uh, assume that uh, negate Q is true. Uh, example, Q is false. Eh? Use the rule of inferences and uh, logical equivalences. To show that uh, negative p is true, example c is false. Huh? Okay, this one is the indirect proof. Huh? Okay, for the indirect proof, uh, you can have uh, two two examples. Huh? Two examples uh, for indirect proof. Huh? Okay, uh, for example, let uh, n be integer, show that if uh, n a power of 2 is even, then n is also even. Okay, another example, show that if n is positive integer, such as sum of positive divisor is n plus 1, then n is a prime number. Okay, another uh, example, let x be a real number. Prove that if x power of 3 uh, minus 7 uh, x power of 2 plus x uh, minus 7 is equal to 0, then x equal to uh, 7. Okay. Okay, this one is the uh, example indirect proof. Eh? A theorem if uh, 3n plus 2 is odd, then uh, n is odd. Lah. Okay, and then the contrapositive. In other words, we can say n is even in plus 3n plus 2 is even. Okay, and then we have vacuous uh, proof. Eh? If we know that one of the hypotheses uh, P is false, then uh, P plus Q is uh, vacuously true. Lah. Okay, uh, we can find... a. Uh, F false implies true and false implies false are both true. If not, both are true. Example, if I, I am both rich and poor, then Hurricane Katrina was a mild risk. Okay, or false. The hypothesis are P and negative P form a contradiction. Therefore, Q follows by the hypothesis uh, vacuously. Uh, sometimes used to prove uh, using universal uh, quantification. We use this one. And then, uh, for example, here, uh, n uh, greater than 1 is equal, uh, implies uh, n uh, power of 2 greater than n. And, and when you place the n by uh, 0, 0 is uh, greater than 1 uh, is false. Implies n power, uh, 0 power of uh, 2 equal uh, less than 0. Okay, and then a uh, trivial proof is uh, is uh, acronym uh, of a uh, vacuous proof. Eh? Uh, for vacuous proof, you can have a uh, false. Okay, this one is for the vacuous proof. Eh? Uh, are both true? Eh? This one also are both true. For example, it is uh, raining today, then the empty set is a subset of every set. Uh, false implies true and true implies true. Eh? All are true. Eh? Uh, the assertion is trivially true, independent of the truth value of P. Eh? Okay, this one is uh, another example. And then we have a uh, proof uh, by the contradiction. Eh? We want to prove P implies Q, but uh, if you can prove that a negative P implies a, uh, implies a contradiction, <coughs> or we can call it as no matter what or an absurd. Eh? To find a mathematical definition of uh, the proof, we find a contradiction Q, eh, such that P implies Q is equivalent to negative P implies Q is equivalent to T. Eh? 
consequently if we show the contradiction then the assumption negative p is wrong eh? because uh, we first uh, do uh, exp explicate the contradiction first okay this one you can uh, use by the trivial proof or vacuous proof eh? and then to prove that p is uh, true you have to show that uh, negative p leads to a contradiction example you have to prove that uh, negative uh, p is uh, true eh? equivalent to true Okay, for example, uh, proof that the uh, power power of two. This one, what we call it as power. Uh, square root of two. Okay, square root of two is uh, irrational. Okay, uh, what if the negative p is true and the uh, uh, power of two is uh, rational? Square root, square root, eh? Right, eh? square root. Okay. Okay, this one is uh, just example. Since uh, a power of two, uh, two. Uh, b power of 2 is then a uh, power of 2 is even therefore is even then for some integer c okay uh, therefore we can say that uh, square root uh, 2 is irrational uh, it, it is true eh? because uh, negative p is false p is true eh? Okay, uh, indirect proof or implication it can be written uh, rewritten as a proof by the contradiction. Eh? Okay, uh, then we use the negative Q uh, in plus uh, negative P. Okay, uh, different proof by cases. Okay, and then uh, proving the equivalences. Okay, P uh, is equal to Q. You need to show that uh, P uh, uh, P by conditional uh, Q is a tautology. Uh, you can uh, show or you can denote by using uh, P implies Q and Q implies P are both uh, true since uh, this one is equivalence. Huh? Example, the trigger integer n is odd if only if uh, n uh, power of 2 is odd. Okay, and then we have uh, existence uh, of proof by using the existential uh, quantifier. We can uh, have a constructive and uh, non-constructive. Okay, and then uh, please do the exercise point. Uh, you need to prove if uh, m plus n and n uh, plus p are even integers, then uh, m plus p is even. Lah. Uh, you need to prove the uh, the equivalences, eh? and then uh, secondly, uh, prove if m and n are integers, and m n is even, then m is even or n is even. In okay, this one, you upload to Padlet, eh? please upload to Padlet uh, as your own exercises. Eh? If you don't understand, you can ask me.